It's a tragedy that has struck a real nerve here in New Jersey and across this country. Carol Baum was ambushed and brutally stabbed to death right here in the front of her home by her ex-boyfriend, who was also a convicted felon. There's no question Carol feared for her life. She installed security cameras. She took out a restraining order, and she applied for a gun permit in April. But she was still waiting for that permit to be approved the night she was murdered. People here tell us this never should have happened, but that Carol was another victim left defenseless by the very system she relied on to protect her. Oh, no, it's been awful. My friend didn't have to die this way. He killed her like an animal. And I will never rest knowing that that's the way my friend's life was ended, because she couldn't protect herself. And knowing that it could have been prevented makes it all that much more painful and hard to digest. Absolutely, the system failed her. She did everything by the book. Everybody's outraged. The customer reaction has been overwhelming. In back on her station, there's flowers and balloons because it would have been her 40th birthday. It says, Carol's sparkling eyes and beautiful smile will be missed by so many people. Be more than an empty chair here. You feel helpless for that individual. A severe taste of disgust. This shouldn't have happened. What do we have to do in this state? It's really backwards, and this poor woman lost her life because of it. Carol got a restraining order, but in the end, what good was it? You could blow your nose on a restraining order. If somebody is going with an intention to kill somebody, are they worried about violating a restraining order? It's no protection whatsoever. It's just a piece of paper. She went to the police. She filed numerous reports. Every time there was an incident, she logged it with the prosecutor, with the Berlin police. He actually came here with a pellet gun, blew the windows out of her car. She had had her bedroom window shut out, and the police said that they couldn't prove it was him that did it. We don't have enough to get him now. Do you have enough? He actually had a warrant out on him for an infraction against that restraining order. He walked around freely for that whole month. She was the prisoner. My friend might be standing right here today had they arrested him at least on that. He was a sick man. He had already spent time in prison, so he wasn't abiding by any law. He tested the waters. He was not reprimanded and had access where he shouldn't have. They weren't going to place a police officer in front of her house 24-7. She should have been able to obtain further protection. And to make it even more tragic, two days before this happened to Carol, she went to find out the status of her gun yes. permit. Yes, she applied April 21st for a gun permit. It was too long to wait to get a gun. The permitting system is atrocious. The law says 30 days. It should be issued in 30 days. And very, very seldomly do we see a permit that's actually issued in less than 30 days from the time it was applied for. I called the police chief to talk to him about it. I never heard back. From what I understand, the police chief said he wasn't even aware of this law. It's in black and white in the statute. Ignorance is absolutely no excuse. I find that hard to believe. This is just rudimentary 2C criminal justice codes that everybody knows, anybody who owns a gun. Every customer that walks through the door complains about our system. What we hear is anywhere from three to six months is the commonplace, and on a regular basis, nine months. Ironically, the worse the neighborhood, the longer it seems to take people to get their permit. I've heard of people waiting for a year and a half in Newark. Very frustrating. I waited nine months. If I was in her shoes every day, I can imagine just thinking about it, wishing that I could have that security in my home. It was out of her control. Oh, absolutely. He knew that she wouldn't have a gun. Nobody gets a concealed carry in New Jersey. It's a tragedy. If someone throws me in the car, I can't have my firearm that I'm trained to use. It infuriates me that that could happen to me. Unless you're retired law enforcement or you really know somebody, you'll never ever get a concealed carry permit as a citizen of this state. What do you say to those people who say, we will never know if a gun would have saved Carol's life. Who is it for us to decide that? She should have received her permit. Had he known that she had a gun, he doesn't know uh, that she may not have had it on her. The firearm could have been a deterrent. At least give them a fighting chance. For women in a situation like that, there really is no better equalizer than a firearm. If I had a firearm, and I had a 50% chance of saving my life, as opposed to 100% chance of losing my life, I'm all for the firearm. 
I'm here at the state capitol where there's already talks from Republican lawmakers plan to push legislation that would speed up the permit approval process for people, quote unquote, protected by a restraining order. <sighs> Too late for Carol. I don't see why there has to be something bad that happens first. I mean, the idea is prevention. It sounds good, but my thoughts are if you can accomplish that for one person, why can't it be accomplished for everybody else? <laughs> It all comes down to, I think, making it intimidating to be a gun owner because that's that's what they want to reduce, the legal gun owners. They know that they can't stop the crime. They know that they can't stop the illegal guns. Personal protection is a huge concern um, for everybody. They should fix the system across the board. Residents also want to make clear that talk simply won't cut it. They know all too well that once the headlines of Carol's horrific murder disappear, so too will any chance of changing New Jersey's gun laws that ruin and cost people's lives. Change is needed more than ever. Gun laws in New Jersey either turn a law-abiding citizen into a criminal or a victim, and they're unacceptable. They protect the criminal more than they do the victim. Being the person that Carol was, I know she's very happy for other people that this is coming to light and that we'll be using her name to lead this. Unfortunately, I think it's going to take a lot more before there's any change, and I think it's going to come, have to come at the voting booths. All our Democrats and any anti-gun Republicans all have blood on their hands for this. We're moving back to America, out of New Jersey, out of the police state. Everybody should have a right to protect themselves with a firearm. Don't punish the law-abiding people by keeping them out of their hands.